What's up? This is Wayne Barron with DarkEffects.net, and today we are in Adobe Edge All Animate. I almost said Audition. Anyway, uh, today we are going to be adding a background which repeats itself into our project. And so the first thing we want to do is that our width and our height is set at 540 pixels by 400 pixels. We want to change this to 100%. You don't really have to do that. Uh, it just depends on how you want to make your your project. So, but anyway, setting it to 100% will allow you to shrink it and expand it without uh, losing the dimensions of your background image or anything else that is on your project. So anyway, with this one, we are going to um, just add in a image into our background and have it repeat itself. And so how we do that is we go down here to our stage, we right click, open actions for stage, and then we want to make sure that it's on composition ready, so you're going to click on that, and then we're going to type in the following code. Okay, lost myself for a second, okay. I always keep my images inside of a folder called graph. Okay, and um so let's take a look at this. We got uh, our money sign, open, bracket, quote, pound stage, quote, ending bracket, dot CSS, background dash image, URL, graph, forward slash BG dot GIF. That's if you got it inside of a folder, and I strongly suggest putting all your images inside of a folder, folder instead of just dropping them into your main folder. Then we got background dash repeat, and then repeat. Make sure there's no spaces in anything that you do within your CSS. Okay, then we close. And we go down here and choose Preview in Browser. And it's... Let's grab a hold of this one. And there we go. Let's go ahead and reload that one too. <laughs> Alright, so that is how you load a background image into your um, Adobe Edge Animate project. The best advice that I can give so that you don't have to type this out all the time is to copy it, put it inside of a text file, and put it somewhere inside of your web folder that you're going to be developing your stuff on. And then uh, I just keep these different code snippets there just in case uh, you want to grab a hold of them real quick and throw them into your project so that you can continue working without having to actually type all this stuff out again. So y'all have a rocking weekend. This is Wayne Brown with darkeffects.net.